the Democratic National Convention kicks off today in Chicago, where Vice President Kamala Harris will formally accept the Democratic nomination alongside her running mate, Governor Tim Walz. But as anticipation builds in Chicago ahead of this week's speeches from Vice President Kamala Harris, President Joe Biden, former Presidents Obama and Clinton, and so many more, the city is preparing to maintain order with several large protests set to take place not too far from the convention center. Sue Guzman takes a closer look at all the action. And we will win. And we will win. And we will win. Vice President Kamala Harris keeping the excitement around her campaign for the White House going as day one of the Democratic National Convention kicks off Monday in Chicago. President Joe Biden expected to give the keynote address in the evening. It'll be one of his most high-profile appearances since dropping out of the presidential race following his June debate against former President Donald Trump that sparked fears over his candidacy and saw fundraising dry up. No one is giving any cash. Without money, there's no firepower. While well, Vice President Harris has triggered new energy among voters, the DNC will be a time for her to showcase more policy goals. According to a new Fox News Power Rankings issue tracker report, voters say they prefer Trump when it comes to issues surrounding the economy and immigration. But Harris has been chipping away at the divide. Meanwhile, Harris leads Trump when it comes to things like honesty, temperament, and mental soundness. But amidst this week's celebrations promoting the harris Walls ticket, law enforcement are preparing for protests every day of the convention. Large march already taking place Sunday, with demonstrators rallying for several causes, including an end to the Israel-Hamas war. There are people who are not willing to vote for her if she is going to continue to arm and fund the Israelis and participate in genocide. One of the largest protests is set for Monday. Hundreds of members of the Illinois National Guard have been called to be on standby to assist local police. Sue Guzman, Fox News. Meantime, former President Donald Trump and Senator J.D. Vance have a busy week of campaigning ahead. Trump is in Pennsylvania today, Michigan on Tuesday. He'll meet up with Senator Vance on Wednesday. That'll be for a rally in North Carolina. Trump will be in southwest, uh, the southwest border in Arizona on Thursday and will hit Arizona and Nevada on Friday. Allies of the former president are urging him to stick to the issues instead of launching personal attacks at Vice President Harris, Governor Walls, or President Biden.